Hi, I'm Rick Hinder with Rick Hinder Knives. I'm in Rick Hinder Knives, and uh, here I'm at the uh, uh, the EVA Show 2016 in Nuremberg, Germany. And this is the first time uh, that I've been here, uh, Rick Hinder Knives has been here, with our own booth. Past couple years, I started coming to uh, Germany uh, with uh, uh, Kershaw and ZT to uh, uh, kind of uh, promote my designs that I have with that company. So this year I decided to come out and have my own booth and show all of uh, the products that we make at Rick Hinder Knives. So uh, to start off with, um, I want to uh, talk about the XM18. The XM18 is of course the flagship model of Rick Hinder Knives. I designed this, this knife, uh, it's been about 10 years now. And obviously, it's the knife that everybody uh, that's been uh, coming by the show has been wanting to pick up and look because they've they've heard about the knife and maybe some of them being in Europe haven't actually been able to handle it. So, uh, so we brought quite a few of the uh, of uh, of samples. That's the Bowie blade. This, of course, is the the very first one, the Spanto, which is kind of what the uh, XM18 is known for. That was my first blade shape, and. And we got a lot, I brought uh, kind of a, a, a mixture of some of the other blade styles as well that everybody's been having a, a great time looking at. So that's the XM18 that everybody is familiar with. What I wanted to share uh, also is the Eclipse model. Now a lot of people that have been coming by have been recognizing this knife from my ZT collaboration, the Factory Custom, in the ZT0392. And uh, this is the my version, obviously. Um, the Eclipse, and there's very subtle differences between this and the, and the ZT version, but not enough for people to walk by and recognize it. So we're making these in a full production now, and in fact we have a batch that we're finishing up right now, which we'll probably be shipping in the next couple weeks, that everybody's really excited for. So this is the, the uh, Eclipse, and incidentally I spelled it in a German spelling. <laughs> so, the next one I want to talk about is actually a couple of the new models. These models were debuted at SHOT Show 2016 last month in Las Vegas. And the first one, and I decided to, uh, we're going to be making both of these. These are both custom prototypes. And we decided to go ahead and put these into production right away because everything it, it, we got such a good response uh, at the shot show that we decided to go ahead and put these into production this one we call the mp1 or modular platform one and the reason i we call it the modular platform is because this is the first knife that's incorporating my new patent pending hinder modular backspacer system and i don't have a way to take this out to show you what it is but what it is it's a backspacer that you can be able to take out and put in without taking a knife apart. So it's just merely using as a set screw, unscrewing the set screw, and this whole backspacer pops out, and you can put a new one in, whether whether it's a backspacer without a lanyard, a backspacer with a tool attachment, and even a beverage opening system, aka bottle opener. So it kind of is going to give it's going to give a lot of people a, an opportunity to uh, change up their knife. Uh, the way they would like to. And that's something that Hinder Knives, I kind of came up with a saying, uh, your life, your Hinder, make it your own. And the reason is, is because we encourage people to take and dress up their knife in a lot of different ways that they would like to. So it's kind of like, we call it playing Barbie with your knife. So anyway, so this is, uh, there's a few features of this knife that I really like. It has a floating stop pin on it, which the floating stop pin is merely, uh, which has been done before in knives, it's nothing new. Uh, but what I did on this one was I, I wanted to keep the an oversized stop pin, a very big stop pin, so the channels look a little different. So some of the customers that have been stopping by uh, the past couple of days have been noticing there's something a little bit different about the uh, about this knife. So, but what that does is that allows it to, to maintain the toughness that uh, my knives are known for. So. This is the MP1, that's going to be available about probably blade show time this year, uh, which is coming up in about three months. The other new model I want to talk about is this is the half track. And the half track uh, is a, as you can see, oh, here, 
this is the XM18, so all you folks can see the difference in the size. So the half track is a smaller knife, and uh, as with a lot of small knives, smaller knives are harder to design than larger knives because uh, you don't have as much ha uh, handle to be able to get uh, your hand on. But this one, as you can see where my fingers are placed, it's a really, really comfortable design. Really tough knife. And uh, there's a few, it, it also has the oversized uh, a floating stop pin as well, as you can see on the, on the front of the knife. And uh, the, the brick pattern, uh, actually in the, the texture, that came from, uh, it, it's, kind of a, it's kind of a backstory on that, I probably shouldn't share. But when I was designing this knife, I thought, you know, this, this, this knife is built as tough as a uh, <laughs> brick blank house. <laughs> so that is, uh, that's how that, that texture came <laughs> from that. I tell that story to a lot of people, they get a kick out of it. But anyway, so, um, so that's the, the half track. And uh, you can see the different design attributes to that. This is going to be a very popular knife. We had a ton of positive reviews on it at SHOT Show. So the other one I bring out to show all of you guys is this is new. And as we go down the line in size, that's a little neck knife that I did. And for a lot of you that know my designs with Kershaw, you would see this as the ember. Uh, I did a knife at Kershaw that's called the ember, which is a folding knife. This is actually the fixed blade version of the ember. So, with a little different blade shape. So that's kind of, uh, that's what I have in a lineup of the new stuff that I that we have coming out, as well as some of the, uh, the things that, uh, some of the designs that uh, Hinder Knife fans are, are uh, familiar with. So, with that, I'm having a great time here in Nuremberg, Germany, eating a lot of German food, which I love, and uh, uh, can't wait to see the rest of the show.